All right, let's get that faggot. How dare he make a fool of me? I've beaten many of him. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Watch out for that flame move. You can charge it up. It's what I normally do with the axe. It's pretty overpowered. Heavy attack. Alright, let's try it again. I should probably switch. Sneak attack? Nope, you saw me. Holy crap, that does no damage. I'm so used to killing these guys in one shot. Ha! Oh. And that's the crit animation basically in this. Oh, now that I killed him, he had my souls because I died before. So in order to get my souls back, I either need to find a place where I died, or kill the monsters whose eyes are glowing. Yeah, I forgot to point out his eyes were glowing like a purple color. Yeah, take that. Onwards. You follow this route, and then you're gonna get ambushed, or if you slowly take them on one by one, You'll probably whittle them down. Fear infected one. Where? And you that act well sorry for trot along, will ya? Yeah, all the villagers are dickheads. They don't trust you. Even when you try to help them. Uh yeah, so Essentially, you go around. You don't need to, but you can go around, knock on your doors, see if they want a safe place to hide. So far, I was only able to find one lady, and she was pretty mean about it. Quick server bullets. If you start playing and you think the silver bullets are annoying and you get too many, uh, like, you're gonna start loving them. I got the cannon, which, like, cost 10 bullets, I think, each shot. But it does a massive amount of damage. Because of that, I never have, like, bullets in my inventory. And I started seeking out bullets more than I seeked out things. Oh, keep forgetting. Uh, there should be one more guy over here. What? And behind me. Yep. Yeah. So my first playthrough, I basically just maxed out this hunter's axe. I think it's the best weapon in the game. Oh, that's not fair. Oh! It's not my fault. Ah, uh, am I gonna die to a villager? Nope. Did he say he'll mess up my grave? Damn. Alright, in order to get that, you have to go around. Uh, you're gonna jump down, there's gonna be one dog, and I I just hate the dog so much. On the other side of this, there's one of those big guys. 
Gonna take out this dog. I hate the dog so much in this game. And crows. And a little warning, their weapons do a lot more than yours. So if they have a gun, that gun's gonna take out your whole health. Ah, not that one. Oh! I'm gonna die. Oh crap. Sorry about talking. I'm um, trying to concentrate. Holy. God damn it. You and your pitchfork and your. It's only you now. Thank you, blood vials. And one thing different about this game is if you take damage, you have a chance to recover that damage you took. Like, right now I just took damage, and now I can heal it back up. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Ah. Oh. Ah, burnt you. I'm coming for you. Axe gonna give it to you. I just like clearing the whole area out in case, you know, you want to run peacefully back. Not that you have to. But it just makes me feel more at ease. No one, no enemies will jump at me. There should be someone over here too, if I remember correctly. Or did I kill that person already? Yeah, I killed him. Go this way. We're almost at the first boss. I'm probably not gonna be able to beat him on my first try. But we'll see how it goes. If you walk slowly, you can sneak up on him. Oh, these guys are easier than the giant axe ones. Oh, he saw me. That's not fair. Easy. Torch. Molotov. I haven't really used a torch much. I don't really find a use for it, because later on you're going to find uh, a lantern or something, and you could use that passively without having to use your arms. And here are the goddamn crows. They can't fly, but if they get you, they hurt. The crows and the goddamn dogs. I hate them the most. And later on in the game, they combine them and make a crow dog. Or a dog crow. Either way. And this is where you get the other item. How was I able to open this door? I forgot how to open this one. I think I have to go from the other side, yeah. There's a quest line over there. A uh, kind of important item, if you want to beat Father Castellin. When I beat him my first time, I didn't try that. I didn't know about that item. Or the quest line. Whoop. Gotta keep dodging. Uh, at least the dogs die fast enough. Whoop. More blood vials. See the 
when my limit reached 20, the others go into my storage. Next to it says the green thing. Yeah, so three bullets just went to my storage. Alright, we're nearby. Alright, these wolves. Do not fight them 1v2. They will fuck you up. Unless you're some Dark Souls pro, which I am not. This is where I like to use my pebble. Alright, continuing on from there. I have to cut my videos in 15 minute intervals because of the recording. But that won't affect anything. I'll probably just edit out a lot so you won't notice. Yeah, come over here. There we go. Yeah. Come, come. I don't want to aggro the other one. Just come. Holy. Oh crap, did the other one get aggroed? No, it's not fair. Alright, I'll try it. I'll do it for you guys. Holy. Alright. Burn. Ah. How are you alive? Yeah, I think flame is really effective against these uh, werewolves and stuff. I don't know about the villagers, but I think flame is effective on everyone. Well, most everyone. There should be a guy over here. On the left. Yep. There we go. Alright, this is going to be a shortcut, so before you fight the boss, you should come over here. There should be a guy right here. Yep, that was right. I'm helping you guys. I mean, unless you guys don't want to me to spoil the fun. But I mean, no one wants to get jump scared. And as we make our way down, there's going to be a rifle guy in a wheelchair and another one of these. Don't be fooled. You can just go up to him, charge up a powerful attack, and kill him. Uh, you could open his door, and then make your way up. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Go up, and we open the star. And now we have a shortcut instead of having to go through all those hordes of enemies. And this is a, basically the area where I farm. I'll show you guys a bit later what I mean by farming as we progress through this walkthrough or playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's a bunch of crows next to this guy. I like taking them out first. They're really pesky. Whoa. Whoa. Take it easy, man. Ah, he pushed me. Bad ogre. Did I kill the other one? Oh, nice. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. There he is. Ah, uh, how'd that get me?
come on. I can't die. Come on, I want to do it my first try. And don't bother using bullets. I think you could maybe parry him, but I haven't seen it been done. Bullets don't even do much anyway. Look at that. Yeah. Holy shit. Molotov. You suck. One more Molotov? Oh! Halfway there. Oh, I thought that got me. Get that booty. Ah! Critical strike. Most of the enemies, if the well, the bosses, if they go down like that, you could probably crit them. Oh. Holy crap, I'm actually gonna beat on my first try. Let me not jinx myself. Oh, I should have fought him there. Oh. Almost there. Essentially, most of the time you just wanna hump their leg. Oh man. And don't get greedy, like I'm getting greedy. Oh man. If I lose this, I'm not forgiving myself. Burn! And we did it. Sit on his dead body. Raining in blood. Beautiful. And that is how you beat the first boss. And I didn't get this because it's a bunch of bullets, which I don't really need at the moment. And we light up this bonfire and we head back.